up in the army, I am GameNear5 coming at you with a brand new video and I am joined by I, as you can see, to, uh, well, now in front of me, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not in first person, I'm in, I'm in third person right now. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, uh, she is standing up to my right, I guess. Anywho, um, uh, we're together to, uh, react to 1.20. Um, this is technically her first update, even though she came not long after 1.19 came in. I think, right? I believe so, yes. So, um, yeah, this is the first time we're experiencing the update together from start. Just so happens this one of the biggest ones ever, so... <laughs> in, wow, in recent memory. We got get a new biome and a bunch of, bunch of really cool things in this one. So, uh, we're gonna <laughs> go through... A good majority of what's happened in this update, uh, not, we're not going to cover, like, commands and stuff. We don't care about this. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people do. <laughs> but, uh, like, new items and everything we're going to cover in this, uh, uh, video. But, um, certain things won't be covered on this server if you don't know where we are. This is our as uh, I like to call it, this is our home. This is the Innator World server. Um, and uh, not the, the new biome and generated stuff cannot be generated on this world. Well, it can be just a good million blocks out. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you want to be spending, like, hours trying to find them. <laughs> no. I didn't either. So I uh, took took liberties of just, well, coming here. <laughs> uh, uh, of uh, using our uh, other server to uh, close the doors behind you. <laughs> Anywho, we uh, came, we picked ma the Magical Tree Burial Center, which I built in December. Uh, for this, because it literally has the most amount of space for something like this. So, I literally has a big pond of water. <laughs> and we have two new boats. <laughs> now I was playing in the water. <laughs> Anywho, this is the update area. And uh, I'm going to be the host of this, as I explained to I beforehand. I'm going to be the host. Because I've experienced this stuff before. I experienced it through snapshots, and she has, well, not. So, uh, <laughs> we will, some things will be experienced together. Other things, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, which side do you want to start with? Um, any side, it's up to you. Okay, let's start this side. All right. So this is a chiseled bookshelf. Right here. This. This thing right here. This is a chiseled bookshelf. You can remove books from it, put books in it. Like that. Cool. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. And now, if, if I saw the update correctly, you can make it into a door if you want yes, to. Yes, yes, you can. You can. I'm not that smart, but <laughs> then I was don't have enough space to do that here. But wow, okay, that's somewhat of a lie. But um, <laughs> uh, I wasn't really gonna build a redstone door in um this. But uh, yeah, you can make a door with it for like future bases and stuff that could come in very handy if we want to hide things from each other. <laughs> or just help build the archives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm pretty certain this is, this is the stuff you need for uh, the crafting uh, recipe. Um, you need six planks and three, um, 
uh, slabs. And that gives you one chiseled bookshelf. Okay. See? Mm hmm. <laughs> no. It's pretty cheap. Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Like, just wood. That's actually pretty good. Because normal bookshelves, well, it's uh, wood. It's actual wood. It's wood and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, um, the, uh, hold on. That, not, not that. That bookshelf, uh, takes actual books, which takes leather and paper and stuff, and mm -hmm. very and hard like, to get. What? It's already pre-shelved as well. Yeah, it's not that cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, this... Very cool addition allows uh, you to really customize the way you uh, decorate and yeah. Anywho, over here, the brand new wood type. This is cherry wood. What do you think? Very pink. <laughs> that it is. Like, it is extremely pink. I don't think I've ever seen a... Like... It's... I don't think I've ever seen a wood this, like... Um... It's a very, like, off pink. Yeah! <laughs> it's very different for the game. But it does remind me of strawberry ice cream. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, like, this, I think, really, um, looks good, and I can't wait to start using this in builds. I haven't used it yet, but, uh, I think it'll look good. Um, now, we do have two other things. I, I didn't, uh, put them down, but we have two boats. You can grab them. All right. And come, come with me. Place them in the water. Both of them? Yes. Okay. Ta da! <laughs> They're pretty cool, eh? Mm hmm. Wee! <laughs> okay, now that I've made everybody dizzy that's watching this video. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're quite nice and. <laughs> <laughs> they pr they pretty much look like every uh, other boat in the game, other than the they're pink. <laughs> hey. Yep. Uh, I think it's a pretty good, pretty big factor. Anywho, um, next. Honestly, the wood that I was looking the most forward to, bamboo. What do you think of this? <laughs> as, you're, as you're acting this, with, like... This was... This should have been added a long time ago, to be honest. I agree. Um, now, the cooler thing with bamboo, they could have just gone with... Ev like they've done with every other and just keep it, like, one type of planks. But they added the mosaic stuff also. These three are mm -hmm. mosaic. Can, can you tell? Yeah. Like, I think they knocked it out of the park with this. Hey. Yeah. I don't think this is by far the best wood they've added, but it is definitely up there. <laughs> hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and ta talking about bamboo, look at the fence. <laughs> Like, it actually looks like it's, um, a, uh, other than the thing sticking up the side of it, it looks like a, um, a strip piece of bamboo. Mm-hmm. Like, it is honestly so cool. Though I wish the bamboo wood was a little greener. A little. It's like an off yellow color. Yeah, it's very similar color to birch. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but uh, yeah, I do like the sign. Also, look at look at the like um grooves in it. I know. <laughs> yeah, and like they they also added like its own version of logs. Like these are meant to be the logs of the wood type. <laughs> well, it's not like bamboo has a log. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you take the boats out of the chest? Yes. Yeah, so I'm wondering, could pandas be eating this? Not like the like the crafted stuff, but like just bamboo in general. Uh, doubtable. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, that would have been a, that would have been a nice detail. Yeah, it would be. I don't think so though. <laughs> and here, let's go put the the. Not so really boats, they even, when I saw them in the snapshot, they were still named boats. But, uh, they're now named rafts. <laughs> so, put the rafts in the water! <laughs> cool looking raft! Am I, I know, right? Whee! Yes, you are sitting down. <laughs> what? You are sitting down. Yeah, yeah, I am. Alright, uh, you mean, yeah. Yeah, it, this is like, so cool. <laughs> Hey. This is like this is like a perfect theming for like escaping an island or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a jungle island if if you have no way out. Of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a bamboo island, nothing left but the bamboo. Now you can actually get all off, uh, off the island <laughs> <laughs> without swimming and getting tired. <laughs> so I guess we've covered everything in this direction now. So right. let's go this direction. Starting with this. This is the new music desk. Now, um, this music desk is acquirable via ar the new archaeology stuff, which uh, we will cover a little later on. But uh, this is coming via that. And, uh, I have not listened to this. At least I don't think so. Mm -hmm. mm, not bad. <laughs> Reminds me of, like, a futuristic kind of idea. The weird thing is, it's meant to be old. <laughs> it's literally called Relic. Huh. Huh. Anywho, let's let's go. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> we got heads. Now this is a weird thing. <laughs> um, this one's new. This one right here. This one's new. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you know this, but uh, this is brand new in the game. Listen closely. I guess the Ender Dragon did that. Yeah, yeah. If you have the head on top of a note block now, they will make their their sound. Huh. I can see that being a prank item. I know right? that. <laughs> that we're probably gonna use on each other. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mid mid building, put sneak up behind someone. Place this one. Place a creeper head on top. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we have this. This is archaeology. Okay. Now, uh, this is a brush. Right here. Brush. Yep. Look down. This brush. And, um, so... This is, uh, as I have, sus gravel, sus sand. Now, this... Uh, you can find in, uh, the, hold on, trail, trail ruins, and, uh, well, both of these can be found in trail ruins, but, uh, the sand can only be, can all, only, is the only thing that can be found in the desert temple. Hmm. In a new room that was added to it, which is pretty cool. Anywho, so um. Can you find the, uh. The, what is this called again? The brush. The brush. Is it part of our tools now? Yes. It is. Now, um, how you, if you were to craft it, you need... Oh, 
found it. Yeah. Uh, you need a piece, a stick, a copper ingot, and a feather. <laughs> Makes sense. Yep. But what's with the feather, though? The brush. Oh, true, true, true. <laughs> Now, because I place these, you won't get anything out of this. No, you have to, it has to be spawned in. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I want you to try doing it because, um, I've done this. So. Okay. Uh, hold left click. Your left click. Yeah. It's like See? I'm fanning myself. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's done, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of that? Cool. And uh, through this, you can get either this disc that's over here. Over here. You can either get mm -hmm. this disc or uh, random ores or anything. Plus all these. These are part pottery shards. This has been something they've been rumoring for a very long time. And, um, don't be brushing, don't be brushing the pot. <laughs> um, but yeah, these, the, they've been rumor, rumoring for so long. And, uh, they're finally in. And, uh, well, now we get to try them out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, pick any four you like, and I will craft it up for you. This Dude. one? The, which one? This one? Yep, yeah, that one. You need to pick four. Yep, yeah, that one, so take that one. I did. I have it in my hand. This one. Okay. Uh, this one. Okay, and one more. And this one. Okay, and now the way you put them into the crafting table will matter. It will uh, have them on which on certain sides, okay. which is actually very interesting. You will probably watch this video, and this will make a lot more sense. And as you see, I just made an advancement also. So uh, mm -hmm. this is the pot that we just made. Can you see it? In, see. Uh, yeah. thing. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Has some patterns on it. Yeah. What do you think? And it's just decoration. It's just decoration, right? Yeah. But it's a good decoration. Mm-hmm. Now, you don't want to break it with a tool, because if you break it with a tool, it will shatter. So, how, so if we even just break it in general, it'll shatter, right? Uh, hold on, let me bring it up. Bring, bring it up in uh, my uh, pod. Uh, hold on, I need to find it. <laughs> I don't have it. Up. There we go. Uh, it is. It is movable. You can if you break it. What using an empty hat hand, it will stay together. Okay. Not in creative mode. <laughs> but I get you get the I get the idea. Yeah. But can you actually hear it shatter though? Uh. No, hold on. No, I, nope. Hold on. <laughs> I need a need a tool. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to grab a pickaxe and show you. Nice. <laughs> there. Now, let's move on. <laughs> to, in my view, one of the best things added in this update. Hanging signs! Yes. This is really gonna help with my uh, Western idea if I come back to it. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, among that, um, I put the normal signs below them. 
-hmm. Now, the reason why I did that, do you notice something that's a little bit different about them? Uh, compared the to the normal. Bigger? What? Text is bigger? Well, yes. Text is bigger. They're also short. They're also uh, not as lo long. Can you see that? Yeah. Yep, I can see that, actually. Yeah. And they're made out of strip logs. Hmm. Where these ones are just made out of planks. Like, can you see that? Like, this, it looks like a log rather than plank. It looks mm -hmm. like a, the inner workings of the log. But uh, these are the cherry and bamboo ones. I did put anything in this chest. I forgot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is the cherry and bamboo ones. They, the, for new things, they're, they really have mocked it out. <laughs> hey? Mm-hmm. Anywho, the way you make these, uh, you need uh, six strip logs and two chains to craft a sign. Let me switch to crit mode so I can do this. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh... Here, and you get six, uh, six of these per one, and uh, I actually wanted to craft one of these so I could show you them hanging off of a fence post because they look different. See? Ooh. Isn't that cool? Yep. I I heard a zombie. Anywho, uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's move on. This is probably one of the most exciting features. You can customize armor now. <laughs> you get the joke. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I, I knew you'd like that one. <laughs> Anywho, these are armor trims. Well, these are the ones that give the patterns, right? Yes. Now, There's all except there. this one over here. This is the netherite upgrade. Mm. Now, before you just need one netherite to upgrade a diamond arm piece of diamond armor or tool or anything to netherite. Well, that just got thrown out the window. Now you need this. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense now. Yeah, yeah. It makes it more expensive. Makes it more expensive and harder to get. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, these are, are the temp the um templates. I would I was going to uh, but uh, put armor stance above, but. Uh, I opted not to do that, uh, being that that was going to take too much time to do. But, um, if you want to see any put on armor, just let me know. Okay, but you use these when after you craft your armor, right? Uh, yes. Which I know we have no armor on right now. <laughs> but, um... Okay, that. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, these... does, it, does it need to be a certain armor, or can it be anything? Any. Um, no, these yeah, can be found basic, all over the world, um, in certain things. It's pretty obvious with some of them where you can find them. Hey? Yeah. Like, this one is clearly the ocean monument because it's blue. Hey? This one clearly ocean mm -hmm. monument. Then I think these ones you dig out of the ground because of brown. Uh, this one is desert, I think. Uh, then... Obviously, the wild is, is jungle. Uh, yeah. Then Coast others. Is ocean. Yeah. This one, uh, this one is deep dark. Hmm. Well, okay. Ancient city. But, um, yeah. This one's nether. And uh, this one, I think, is the end. That makes sense. 
Yeah. So, um, okay, let me get a crafting table. And, uh, okay. Which one do you want? Uh, let's go with Tide. Tide, okay. Uh, let me get the seven, eight inventory. Just totally just giving it all oh, I don't need, I, I, <laughs> I actually uh, don't need a crafting table. I need a smithing table. <laughs> did you give me your hat, helmet also? or? Yeah, I did. I didn't pick it up. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Oh, I yeah. don't have it. <laughs> okay, let me give you a hat. <laughs> let me grab that. Let me grab that for you. Okay, uh, so you want tide, you said. Okay. On which part? Uh, oh, why did you break that? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, let's pull all of it. Oh, you could. I was going to suggest you do four for each. One for each. What do you mean? Like one of each. Uh, no, let's just go tie all of it. Okay. Because <laughs> I'll discover all of it eventually. Like, let's okay. save some stuff and we can do it over time. Like, don't experience it all at once. Yeah, that makes sense. And you get an achievement for it also. Okay. Ready? Yeah. There you go. Okay. I'm just going to put this on. <laughs> there we go. I put blue trim on it. <laughs> what do you think? What? I could use this for Nightwing if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Or do like black armor with that blue and hey. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> hey. I know, right? And, and like for for like the construction gear on this server, we can like put the lines on those also. <laughs> I know you could really experiment with this stuff. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. Now, <laughs> which one do you want to go to first? Camel. Hold on. Oh, we have to do camel first. Okay, well, that answered that quickly. <laughs> I know, because we're like, like we treating each other about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, grab the saddle out of that this chest. Okay. This chest, right here. Grab the saddle. Okay. Now, I had to fully enclose him because he jumped out. <laughs> he jumped out <laughs> earlier. Beauty. Yeah. Okay, put the saddle on. Get on? Yeah. Ta da! <laughs> oh. look, look at us! <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Screenshotted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I just took a picture of it, too. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, this is so fun, isn't it? <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, this is how fast you can go. <laughs> it's all right, I guess. Yeah. Now, he has a, um, a charge. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Whee! Now I'm gonna I'm gonna let you uh, take control of him for a little bit. All right. It's pretty okay. fun, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm on on you. Well, if you're on the back seat, you can literally look around. <laughs> hey. I know they didn't. I, I don't want to complain too much, but when you, like, move really quickly like that, your character doesn't move with it. That's kind of a complaint. Yeah. Yeah. 
But I think they expect the other guy on the back to either be defending you from something or why are you going up the stairs? <laughs> why not? You can't go through that door. It's too tall. Yeah, I know. <laughs> ah, you almost suffocated me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you like the camel? Yes. You're going to like this about the camel also. Little camel. Aww. Little baby. <laughs> so cute. Yep. I will say I like how the saddle looks on on the camel. Hey. Me too. Can you put all the other saddles on it too? I don't think so. Oh, what? No, nope, just just saddle. Um, no, what I was thinking is it would have been cool if they had you had the ability to put a carpet on top. Mm-hmm. Look at it. It's following. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, let's go look at the sniffer now. And all it okay. has. Because it, it has That's a boatload. That's what I'm really looking forward to as well. Yeah. So, this is the sniffer. <laughs> In all his glory, he is huge. <laughs> and um, he's very friendly. You can come up here. And um, yeah, you can't you can't stand on him. <laughs> but both much like every other mob, you can't stand on him. But um, yeah. He will dig up plants and stuff, and, uh, yeah. Now, I'm gonna quickly bring up, uh, him in my list of stuff. He has... Seven hearts, the sniffer. Hmm. The, uh, the camel has 16. <laughs> hmm. For anyone that was wondering. But, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. The sniffer is pretty cool, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm hmm Um, let's, uh... find the sniffer. Well, that's the thing. The only way to find him is to find its egg. Which is this. The sniffer egg. And, uh... This can be found either in the... Um, in the, the suspicious sand, suspicious gravel, I think. And, um, yeah. Anywho. That's what the egg looks like. Hmm. Pretty. Okay. It's a decent size. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, I'm curious about testing this. Nope. You can't put it on top. <laughs> Anywho, um, now the sniffer. We don't. I don't think we need this out anymore. <laughs> now, the baby sniffer is called the snifflet. Mm. If you click on the sniffer with this, you get baby sniffer. Mm. See? Aww. Look at Molly. Very cute. <laughs> Oh, yes, you're very cute. <laughs> Can these things actually attack something or not? I don't think so. Which means they're probably good to try and protect. Hey? Mm-hmm. But, um... Then, uh, they're very useful in getting plants, as I think you would know that. Hey? Yeah. So, uh, come over here. Where'd you go? Ah, there you go. So these are the plants they can uh, dig up. Let, let me uh, let me grab them so I can show you. So uh, which one do you want to see first? Uh, what's this blue one? Okay, that does not surprise me. So that is the picture. That's what's in my head right here. That's what the picture looks like. What do you think? Interesting. Hmm. Can you okay. show me this one? 
Uh, that is the torch flower. So I'm guessing it could light up? Well, you would think that, but no. Huh. <laughs> then, um, then these are the seeds for them. Oh. But, uh, this is what the, uh, and you can't apparently, uh, plant them anywhere. <laughs> I'm guessing if you have a hoe, you can, though. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, I'm grabbing water. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, there we go. This is a torch flower seed. And this is that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. So that is pretty much everything that's here. That is not everything that we're going to look at, though, as uh, certain things that, like the new biome plus uh, the... Hold on. Let me bring it up. There's one other thing we don't have here, and that is the calibrated skulk sensor. So all that we will look at uh, on the... Oh, along with the um, trail... Trail things. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, trail runes. The trail runes, the cherry blossom biome plus trees and everything, we will look at in our other world, so we will get to there right now. Okay. Okay, we are now on the other world, the other, my, our other server, not the SMP server, as even though that might have been a good idea. <laughs> 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 Just think about that. Why didn't we do that? <laughs> Anywho, this is uh, just random seed on our other online uh, server. And uh, um, yeah, well, we can actually look at newly generated stuff. So, uh, uh, well, before we new look at the newly generated stuff, this is the other thing that I did not see. On it on the uh, other server as I quickly find it on. There we go. This is a calibrated skulk sensor. Hmm. Now these alert the warden. Hmm. Now you might be thinking, that's not a good idea. In both of mine, both me and you. Yeah, that would be a really bad idea. So let's break this. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> the special thing about calibrated skulk sensors is, uh, I, I saw someone do this, uh, not that long ago. So, uh, hold on. Um, I need this. Okay. So I saw someone do this not that long ago. This is what is kind of different about them. Uh, they they can be placed further apart. Like, uh, normal skulk sensors, they have to be pretty close to each other to pick, pick up the signal. Uh, these ones can be placed pretty far apart, apparently. Um, Can you see it's still going off? Yeah. So, uh, I think you can, I think, put them far enough f further away. But these can tell, these can, if you have, like, four of these in a room, in, like, a really long hallway, the warden will always know where you are. Huh. <laughs> Ain't that for scary. <laughs> Anywho, moving on. To, uh, from that, because me and you aren't interested in redstone stuff. That's re the redstone side of things. We're more interested in this. This is the cherry tree. Plus, uh, petals. <laughs> Raining petals. 
Yeah. So these are pink petals, the things on the ground. These are yeah. pink petals. And these are very cool. Come over here. So um you can they can fit four in one um one thing. But you don't have to put four. You can put one, you can put two, you can put three. They're very different to pretty much anything we've ever gone before. But um yeah, these are cherry trees. The leaves are pink and green and they uh, sprinkle the blossom petals down and like it's actually quite cool. Hey? It's so pretty. And the logs are a very different color to pretty much anything we have and like this is really gonna uh, give us a lot of uh, options give builders a lot of options, which me and you are builders, so we like this. <laughs> hey? <laughs> now, usually they will be, um, like, uh, big. Unlike this one. <laughs> Unlike this one right here. This one's puny. <laughs> but, uh, this is the cherry biome that I was able to find in this world. This took some, this took some finding. Uh, this took quite a while to find. Uh, but, uh, yeah. It, the, now, by my, uh, uh, searching, uh, I found out these aren't that big. <laughs> like, all of them I've come across, they're not that large. Now, if you turn on uh, larger seeds, yeah, yeah, like larger biomes, yeah, they'll be pretty large. But um, this is about the big one, of the biggest I was able to find. So I kept this as our testing world. Uh, our uh, um, yeah, uh, that was another thing I was wanting to. The sap sapling uh, is probably the most unique one out of all of them. Hey, and mm -hmm. some people say it looks like a bonsai tree. Do you see that? Yeah. And uh, it can be placed in a flower pot. Uh, you have too much dirt. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was like, I was thinking you'd just move the sapling. No, no, I'll just dig. <laughs> but yeah, you got you got good luck with that, didn't you? Mhm. Mm yeah. Um. So this is what it looks like in a flower pot behind you, right here. Looks pretty cool. So, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have 15. That's enough. <laughs> but, um, yeah. These biomes will usually spawn pretty high. Uh, well, generate pretty high up. Uh, in pretty high terrains, so, uh, that, that's, uh, kind of interesting, hey? Mm hmm But, uh, yeah, so, uh, we have one more thing to, uh, show in this video. So come over here! Coming. <laughs> okay, where'd you go? Right here. There you are. Press button. Did teleport you also? There we go. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is where I had to bring us to show you a trail ruin. Ta-da! Hmm. Now, this is the only part that's above ground. 
Now, I, being that you're not uh, up on this uh, server, I, I that will change. Uh, you're gonna love this. <laughs> You can see how big it is. Hey? Can you see how big this is now? Kind of. It's kind of dark, but I think I have a general idea. Yeah. It, it, like, it is a really big structure. If I was able to figure this out, like, the only way I was able to figure this out is I looked at pictures. <laughs> If I figured this out prior to the day we're filming this, I probably would have dug it out, but uh, didn't have time. So this is the only way we can see kind of how big they can be. If you want to see how big they are, look up a picture of a child room. You'll see how big they can be. They're they can be pretty darn large. Um, but uh, these will be fun to explore and find and find uh, artifacts in. Uh, don't you think? Mm-hmm. And, like, you can't even tell it's there. Hey? Yeah. Which, uh, means it's gonna be really difficult to find. <laughs> hey? Yeah, but I'm sure we can find it in no time after a while. Yeah, probably. Anywho, I'm going to switch myself back to creative mode. Let's uh, switch you to creative mode if you get above ground. Okay, give me two seconds here. Okay. You back okay. above ground? Yeah. Okay. So, with that, guys, thank you all for watching our re uh, us messing around with one point update 1.20. Uh, hopefully we'll be back when 1.21 comes, whenever it comes. Uh, with that, guys, I'm Game Nair 5 from the Nair Army team. Uh, signing off. Thanks to I for joining me today. And, uh, yeah. So, with that, good <laughs> bye! <laughs> what were you gonna, what were you saying? I was gonna, I was gonna be in sync with you when you said goodbye. <laughs> Well, okay. Well, later. <laughs>